Hey guys, how's it going? Sophie Lockpicker here. In the video I have for you today, I'm going to go over how you can make hand sanitizer at home with four simple ingredients that you can get at your local stores. If you don't know me already, I am an emergency department nurse. I've been working as a nurse since 2013. On my badge it says critical flow pool, but since I started I have been working as an ER nurse for the last three or four years. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can make a 500 milliliter batch just using four simple ingredients. So let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need something that I'm going to mix my batch into. And then the ingredients that you're going to need is you're going to need 190 proof alcohol. What I have is 190 proof grain alcohol. You're going to need 100% glycerin. You're going to need some hydrogen peroxide. And then you're going to need some distilled water or some sterile water. You're going to want to have some really clean water. And then you're going to be able to get started. So the first thing that this recipe is going to call for is going to be the alcohol. Why I have 190 proof is because this is 95% by volume, and that's going to be strong enough to make an effective hand sanitizer once you have it diluted with all of the other ingredients. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fill up our container with 445 milliliters of the grain alcohol. So we're going to do that right now. And you want to be as close to precise as possible because you want to make sure that it is going to be properly diluted. You don't want to make the alcohol too dilute because you want to make sure that you're going to have it strong enough. So that is pretty close to 445. And since this is such strong alcohol, you want to be careful that you don't leave it out too long because it does evaporate rather quickly. So the next thing that I'm going to add is going to be 20 milliliters of my distilled water. So I have a little medication cup here, which will make it easy for me to be able to measure it. We're going to get 20 milliliters right now. So it's going to be careful. Oops. All right. And then we're going to add that to our mixture. The next thing we're going to need is 20 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide. And when I was reading the World, the World Health Organization's recommended recipe, they said that this helps kill any of the lingering spores and it helps keep the solution as clean as possible. I do understand that hand sanitizer in general is designed to be something that's going to clean and kill bacteria, but the little spores are very hard to clean and you want to make sure you do not have a contaminated solution. So we're going to do 20 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide right now, and then we're going to mix that in. And then the last step is going to be the glycerin. So the glycerin, I like to do 15 milliliters of the glycerin. This is really nice because it makes your skin not get as irritated. It really helps keep the hand sanitizer from irritating your skin. So the glycerin is a little bit hard to draw up because it's so viscous and thick. So what I like to do is I just have this little contraption here, but you can really do anything that you would like to do in order to get it out. But I'm just going to pull out 15 milliliters. So this is only a 10 milliliter syringe, so I'll have to do 10 and then 5. So just bear with me for a minute here while this is starting to draw up into the syringe. And then once we have all of these components in, we're going to have everything that we need to make our hand sanitizer. Then we're going to need to put it into a clean container to store it. And then we're going to want it to sit for about 72 hours is what I read on the World Health Organization, just to make sure that everything is going to stay clean, just in case there was any contaminated parts, whether it be the storage bin, what you use to mix it. You just want to make sure that you're going to have the cleanest sanitizer possible. So I have 10 mLs right here, so I'm going to add that in. Then we're going to get five more mLs of the glycerin. So just to break it down for you one more time, in order to make this, I have used 
445 milliliters of the 190 proof grain alcohol. Then I mixed in 20 milliliters of the distilled water. Then I put in 20 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide. And now I have done 15 milliliters of the glycerin. Now that everything is mixed together, what I'm going to do is we're going to now move this into the container that I'm going to keep it in, which is going to be right here. And then you're going to want to just be very careful as you start to mix it in. So I have a little funnel. I'm going to pour this right in. Now you can give it just a little mix, just to make sure all the parts are going to homogenize and just be nice and mixed. And one thing I'd like to note is if you can't find the glycerin, do not be tempted to use mineral oil because that does not dissolve into water. But the glycerin was probably the hardest ingredient for me to find. And then what you need to do is get an appropriately labeled dispenser bottle. This was just one of those foaming soap bottles and I've used a whole batch already so I'm going to refill this one. But just remember the recommendation, what I read, is that you want to have this sit out for a few days just to really make sure everything is sterilized before you do end up using it. But what you ultimately do is your own choice. So we're going to now fill this up. Leave a little room at the top for when I put the dispenser back in. All right, and now let's just give it a go. So this dispenser is going to not foam like it would normally because this is going to be a little bit more watery than the hand sanitizer you, might, you may be used to. And that's okay, as long as it works is what I think, but this hand sanitizer does a really great job. It leaves your hands feeling clean, it's not too harsh on them. And it is a really nice do-it-yourself project that you can do with just a few components at home. Once again, in order to make this, you're going to need 190 proof alcohol, you're going to need 100% glycerin, you're going to need hydrogen peroxide, and some distilled or sterile water, and then you're going to want to use 445 mLs of the grain alcohol, you're going to want to use 20 mLs of the distilled water, 20 mLs of the hydrogen peroxide, then you're going to want to use 15 mLs of the glycerin. That's going to make a 500 mL batch, and that's going to be a really nice thing that you can do to try to keep you and your family safe. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has been a really quick instructional video on how you can start to make hand sanitizer at home in a time when it is not readily available. I really hope this is helpful to anyone out there, and I really thank you for checking it out. If you guys have any questions or suggestions at all, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out and I hope you all have a great day and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.